Hey folks, uh, welcome to um, the pricing seven day challenge. Um, we're on day three. I hope you've so far started to see a few mindset shifts in terms of like what we've done on days one and two, looking at goals, looking at the three common pricing mistakes. Um, today we're just going to be looking at um, market research and how um, and competitor research and seeing how your business and your product stand up in uh, against your your competition. So I'm going to tell a little story. There's going to be uh, three parts to this um, to, to day three in your workbook, uh, which you can see I've laid out here. Um, so, I'm, but I'm going to tell you a story just to introduce it. So, I did a talk recently at um, local university, and they were talking about market research um, in terms of like getting very quantitative data, um, which meant that they were just um, gathering numbers basically. What they were lacking was the qualitative data and the really vital, the key ingredient, which is where you add in the story into this. So. The first step in market research is to test the marketplace. So if you've got an idea for a product, don't spend hours, you know, weeks, months, like perfecting this product. Just go out and pitch it and see how well that um, that idea lands. So in the university um, talk, there were 70 students in there, and the one guy I I picked on um, pitched this idea, and 50 people kept their hands up and indicated that they were interested in that idea. So that tells us that yes, this is a good idea. The second thing then is to test the pricing. So we know how much our product or service costs to deliver, or we should do, um, and maybe you should have a look at look at some um, look at that as part of the the, the exercise following this um, this video. Um, but do we also know that it's, it's going to be profitable? So what I did with the students was I said, okay, I'm going to do a Dutch auction. And we're going to start low, and I'm going to start increasing the prices. And when the price increase is or price reaches a point where it's too expensive, put your hand down. So at five pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds, we got to fifty pounds, and there were still twenty students in the room with their hands left up. So that tells us there are twenty students in there, uh, out there, willing to spend fifty pounds on this one particular product. Where it got really interesting is where we added in a story. So what I mean by that is, so it's actually a, um, a dentistry-related product, and so I told the story. I said, um, if in the next thirty days one of your teeth is going to fall out, but if you buy this product, I can guarantee that your tooth is your teeth aren't going to fall out. How much would you then be willing to pay? Obviously, it, there was a much more there was a, a lot more detail to it than that. And um, this time, I started off much higher. So I started off at five hundred pounds, and um, with the set of the fifty people who had their hands up originally, and one person put their hand down, and she went like this, and she had a teeth missing. So we kind of had a bit of a giggle about that, and um, you know, it's like there's always one. I got up to £2,000 and 10 people in the room still had their hands up and said they would spend £2,000 on this product to stop one of their teeth falling out in the next 30 days. So now who do we market our, target our product at? Do we target it at the 20 people who want to buy it at £50 without a story or do we have a compelling value proposition in there and sell it to the 10 people who want to buy it at um, £2,000? And obviously the answer is obvious. So what I want you to do in the worksheet is just go through these three things. So um, do a little bit of market research, put a poll out on your Facebook group or on uh, a, a local networking group or something like that, and just uh, pitch, it, pitch your product to them and just see whether people think it's a good idea or not. Second thing I want you to do is then um, test the pricing side of it. How much are people willing to pay for your product? Um, and we want to go high end. And then finally, um, tell a story. Like tell people what pain they're going to go through um, if they don't buy your product. So it's that heaven if you do, hell if you don't sort of scenario. Um, write your um, findings down on the worksheet. Pop it into the uh, Fearless Business Group, the online business startup group. Let's hold each other accountable on this seven day challenge. Um, and um, I'll see you again then on day four.